Welcome back, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. Last stone beer in the variety pack. Right. I'll let you try and say this one. <laughs> yeah. This is the Cali Belgique. That's how I'm going to say it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, IPA. So what they did is they, they took like a California beer, common, a California common, and a Belgian and combined them to make an IPA. Yep. So pretty interesting. Um, you know, I was just looking at the stats on my phone here. It's 6.9%. With uh, 77 IBUs. Uh, what's interesting though is they use Magnum, uh, which you know we've had before. Right. Centennial, which is such a popular hop, right. and then Ch uh, Chinook. Okay. And which we've had. Spicy. Yeah. Very spicy. So I think that's going to pair very well with the Belgian yeast because you know spicy and spicy. I think will right. go hand in hand. So we should get Warrior being a high alpha hop. Yeah. We should get a lot of pine. Then Centennial being citrus kind of. Yeah. We should get some citrus. Then the Chinook being spicy. We should get some spicy. Then yeah. Belgium style. We should be able to smell taste yeast. Yeah. And I think it's going to be spicy too with that, that taste right. because of the Belgian yeast. Right. So. Who knows? Let's try it out here. We Not got a lot of head. And a very clear beer for yep. for what it is. Pea um, yellow. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Smell? It's uh it smells like a pilsner. It does. I'm not getting I wonder if that's the a lot of that centennial coming through. Yeah, but know. I'm not getting citrus, fruity, anything like that. I'm not getting pine. No, I get a little citrus when I swirl. Yeah. Not a lot. Yeast? Well, let's see. Yeast. Getting that spicy. Yep. That's interesting. That's a, that's an interesting take on an Spicy, IPA. yeasty flavor. Yep. Maybe a hint of citrus in there, but it's I almost, know. It's almost like it lightens up a Belgian. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's taking California Common, which is a pretty light beer, and taking a Belgian and intertwining the two. And I think they did a good job in doing that. Now, for me, am I going to drink this all day, every day? Mm, no. Probably not. Uh, I'd probably give it a f three, five, three, seven, yeah. five, four ish at Correct. the high end. Um, it's not a bad beer. Uh, it's just you're combining two different beer styles into one, and it's only gonna hit a certain market. You know what I mean? Like there's gonna be people out there like myself. I love Belgians. Right. I get the spicy. I get the IPA. I get all that. California Commons. They're good but they're not top of my list right um you know there's some breweries out there that do a very good job in them. um but you know like i said three five three seven five yeah. i would go with three five i would say they i don't know why you would do this one maybe there's other people out there that like this but i out of this variety pack i would put this at the lowest mm. i I wouldn't put it up there. No, I'd, I'd have to agree with you because <clears throat> for me, like, I like Belgians, so that's probably why I'm going to knock it down a, a tad because I get that Belgian taste and then it's like, eh, oh. Right. <laughs> it's yeah. like that letdown yeah. of, oh, it's an IPA, but it's not what I wanted. Um, so it's not a bad beer. I think we're just not the target market. Right, yeah, no. But... It's drinkable, but out of the four pack, the double IPA, I would say, is the best. Yeah. Followed by the one from the bracket. I mean, honestly, but the red, I think the red's pretty good right. too. The red, then the delicious, then this one. Mm, or would maybe you flip even delicious? The delicious. The yeah. Yeah. That's probably what I would do. Yeah. Yep. So, if you guys have tried this variety pack, tell us your order. Yeah. What ones do you guys like best? But, until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. 
Happy brewing. See you next time.